Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vanessa Veronica. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I did this kind of a clean girl, I keep saying clean girl, clean makeup look. Um, I also tried new products. I tried the e.l.f. Lip Glow in the color Power Mauve. It's not a lip glow, I'm thinking of Dior. It's called like a, I don't know, it's this thing. I'll leave the, the specifics in the description. And I also tried the Anastasia, Stasia, Anastasia this thing the brow wax from ABH and I was pleasantly surprised with how it left my brows so if you're curious and you want to see how I got to this look stick along stay tuned let's get started if you haven't already click subscribe like this video and I think that's it let's go all right part of the clean girl look is that you have very kind of moisturized glowy skin so for today i'm going to be using the soft focus glow drops as a primer slash base and it's an illuminating kind of gel primer um or glow primer sorry and it's this pink thing it's very like it reminds me of pepto-bismol but it is what it is oh here's a glass but in case you're wondering what it looks like so I'm just going to take this on clean hands and put it on. It does smell like bubble gum. And I'm just going to put that on the face. For the eyes, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. I'm going to conceal underneath as well as use this as kind of like a primer. But um, this is the Milk Makeup Concealer in the color Light Sand. And taking a wet sponge, I'm just going to grab this and I gotta clean my sponge. I should have brought another one or used another one. And I do have some blemishes happening. Um, I'll take care of that after I put my foundation on. I just wanna work with the eyes first. So for today, I was kind of torn between using the Naked Palette 3 and the Nude Light by Huda Beauty. And I don't know. Maybe. I know I used this in my last video, so maybe we'll go with this one. <clears throat> so taking a fluffy brush, I'm just going to be using the color Strange. It's this really light color right here. And then I'm going to go in with Nooner, which is that kind of medium color right here here in the crease. So first I'm just gonna pick up this color strange and kind of wash the eyelid with it. All right, going in with Nooner, same brush. I'm just gonna put that on the crease. Kind of flick it out a little bit. Going in with a liner, this is brown. I'm gonna take this into the waterline, both the top and the bottom. And for the bottom, I'm just gonna go like one third of the way in. Today, I'm gonna be using the Say Slip Tint in the color four and a half, and I'm gonna be mixing it with the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This is in the color Kokini ST12. Now this in itself gives me a very kind of dewy, like, glow. Um, so I really like this. However, the color is a little too tan for me at the moment. It's more like my summer color, which is why I'm mixing it with the Say. So grabbing a little bit of this actually let's mix this before we use it sometimes it like settles this is kind of what it looks like and I'm just gonna mix it even this might be a little too I think there's more kokini in here than the say but it's okay we'll deal with it um, so I'm just gonna grab some what's up on my finger and kind of dot it yeah definitely too dark but it's okay Using a sponge, we're just gonna blend that in. I feel 
like I just got an instant tan <laughs> on my face. Now I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. So I'm just grabbing a fluffy brush. This is going to be a very light hand. I'm just kind of bringing this a little bit here. Taking that same fluffy brush that I used for the eyes, I'm going to pick that up on this brush. And I just want to bring some into the eyes. I also just connect it to the nose for that contouring effect. Even the bronzer, you don't really contour, but it's okay. Rules are meant to be broken sometimes. For blush, I'm going to use a liquid blush by Giorgio Armani. This is in the color A Blush 30. It looks like this. It's a, has like a little orange peach pigment. And I want to keep it kind of like liquid just to maintain that kind of clean look feel. And going in with my fingers, I'm just going to tap it out. Using my sponge, like a clean side of it, I'm just going to tap that out. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Bare Pro Bare Glow. Say that again. Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Highlighter in the color Free. This light, oh, I have to shake it up because it does have some separation. It just looks like that. And we're just going to put that on the high points. of the nose and I do want to use some of this same highlighter for the inner corners the liquid highlighter I'm just taking the flat brush shader brush sorry about the, the ambulance <laughs> all right I'm gonna put this on the inner corner of the eye all right taking that, that same eyeliner that I used before. I'm just going to put it on top of the lashes and I'm going to smudge it out with a angled brush. Grabbing a nude eyeliner. This is from Essence and it's just a silky nude 06 color. I'm going to put that on the remainder of that waterline. And this is going to have your eyes open and look fresh, bright, and awake. Taking an eye curler thing, thingamabob, this little thing. As much as I hate it, it is helpful in terms of picking up those lashes and opening them up a little bit more. Oh, I just pray every time. Taking the Milk Makeup Mascara, the Kush Mascara, I'm going to coat the lashes with this. Next for the lips, let's go in with the Suede matte lip liner this is in the color sandstorm by nyx and i'm just gonna align them and i went ahead and i wanted to try the elf kind of lip oil stain this is in the color power mauve i think yeah power mauve it looks like this and it's kind of like a lip stain oil combo and it first goes on glossy and then as it wears off it kind of just stays. So that's kind of what it looks like right when it's nice and fresh. I do want to blot some of it off because I really just want that stain effect. So I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. So, there you see it's a little more like muted down, a little more not too much in your face, um, which I think is what the clean girl makeup, clean makeup look is. 
Um, and what else? Do I want to put like an actual gloss on top? I don't know. Hmm. I guess you could... Oh, the eyebrows. Let's do that first. Oh, wow. I'm kind of like shook. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills kind of pommy thing, wax thing, and a ColourPop... What is it? A Feather Effect Brow Brush. Now, this is the first time I'm using this. And already, they look a little more organized and I'm kind of shook by it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so let me do this one. I did this one a little bit off camera, but I'm gonna do this one and you can see. Um, so I'm just picking some of that product up a little bit like so. And then I'm just gonna take it into, here I'll zoom you in a little more. I'm just like brushing it up more, I guess. Now you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with these brows of mine because they're just so... But wow, look, they just, it stays. Hmm. Interesting. I am getting that feathery effect that like I wasn't really achieving before. I do have some sparseness that I gotta fill in. So before I fill them, actually let's fill them in and then I'll maybe smooth them out a little bit. Okay, to fill them in, I'm also going to use a ColourPop Brow Boss pencil thing. This is in the color Brunette. And I'm just going to fill in those spots. If you want a little more kind of like spazazzy, you know, um, you can put some gloss on the lips. I'll let you know what, I'll show you what that looks like right now. I'm using the Cab Lip Oil and... Alright, so as you can see, this is very kind of like similar to like an everyday look. Um, again, I think it's just like a rebranding, re kind of marketing, so whatever it is, some more products have more videos be seen, whatever the case may be, but this is the clean makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, my version of it. Um, I did try a couple new products. As I told you, I tried the e.l.f. lip gloss, which I'm really liking so far, and the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wax, which really shocked me. So I guess we'll see how it plays out. Um, but yeah, those are like my first impressions for these two things, and so far, okay, not too bad. I, matters to see how they wear. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the section below and I'll get to you guys there. And aside from that, I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week, end to your week, middle of your week, um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.